two of the forwards, and Swet Nader continues at center for the Lakers. Bird defending McAdoo, puts a great fake on Larry Bird and goes in. So McAdoo showing some moves inside. We know about his shooting ability out. Only had one here in the last quarter. See, right there, San Antonio switching on four. Situation. Beautiful head and shoulder fake by McAdoo. CBS. Here come the Lakers. They've got the big guns in there now. McAdoo pulls up at the free throw line and comes up with a clutch basket. I think you have to spell Vreen's name S-O-U-N-D. He's a sound player and his, his value is not going to be seen for a while. McAdoo again. Well, they've got such fun. Carroll back with his five fouls. Now Wilkes has got the ball. Oh, I know there might be an overtime. Down the middle, McAdoo. He's around Williams. He lays it up and then left hand is McAdoo. Doing pretty much what he wants out there for his 14th point. That's what Jones, five. 
Lakers are down by a basket. The four ten to play. Magic Johnson getting instructions from Pat Riley. Magic against Reed. Now the ball to McAdoo. Screen by Kareem McAdoo's 18 footer is good. Foul. Down goes McAdoo. Down goes Sampson. Whitman misses. Cooper the rebound. Under a minute. McAdoo. He can play every position on the court. Bumped by Whitman. McAdoo goes in. McAdoo, by the way, 13 points coming off the bench. Going to the hoop. And his scores. He scores and is fouled as well. 33 to 28, the Lakers trail. And we got the Byron Scott man with the ball. Byron number four takes to McAdoo at the base for the 18-footer. He's something. He makes an 18-foot jumper. Looks like a layup. Under two minutes to go in the first period. 27 to 24, Lakers lead. McAdoo. Cooper. We're going for a double on McAdoo. McAdoo with the fight of the jumper. That was beautiful execution. It forced. We have had seven ties and eight lead changes in the game in which the Lakers led by 14 in the first half. That's McAdoo. The ball into Bobby McAdoo is replaced for Lee McSenner. McAdoo in the air for a 17-foot jumper. It's good. McAdoo scoring his first field goal of the new season. Three love when they can just kind of push a button and the man responds with a great effort. Nixon from the side. Kick is up and good. That's the button. Rim. Intended for Cooper and it went off the rim. And Cooper trails it down. Here's McAdoo. Good. Half a minute, um, eight and a half minutes remaining in the first half. McAdoo from the side. McAdoo gets his Fourth point only wanted. 19 seconds. The only Laker points in the last four minutes of the game have been by Bob McAdoo with two three pointers. So in the crunch. Luke is now guarding Green, trying to put the muscle on him. He's got a big size disadvantage there. McAdoo inside. Here's the shot. You're right in the middle of it. There you see the big 41 points in the third for the Lakers. Will tally you to McAdoo. But McAdoo didn't quite do it as. Seconds remaining in the first period. McAdoo. Green. McAdoo still missing from the outside. And he got a little closer. That's a good idea. Caldwell Jones misses and Kareem takes it out to Nixon. Under five minutes to go in the first. McAdoo hit his last. Hits two in a row. Harvey Catchings matched up on McAdoo. He's got a job there. Byron Scott, Cooper down to McAdoo. Harvey's man. If the Bucks are going to be able to defensively with 16 points and 12 rebounds in Thursday, making his presence felt. Celtics for their biggest lead. McAdoo comes back inside. Cooper has Lakers down court. Four on one break. And he brings it up for the moment. McAdoo will get credit for the basket and the foul. The other team now, the Lakers have to win the game at home and come back in here the next time and try to win that ball game. See, that's where the real pressure is. The Lakers must win at home. McAdoo hits a three-pointer with 1.10 to go. He's out of here by taking the ball to the middle. Just over a minute left in the third period here at Eastboro Arena. McAdoo hits. In discipline rather than run up and down and play park basketball. Verhoeven missing. Rambis with the board, down to McGee. Oh, yeah. That's the ultimate of team play. Brown was looking for steps. Lakers run best with Norm Nixon there. McAdoo fills the lane. 50 seconds left, third quarter. We got the ball out in front to Worthy. Just before the half, they led by 17. McAdoo's 19 footer from the other side is good. He just, he's just an absolute unbelievable shooter. He's on. McAdoo. These teams, Julius is the high point man for.
for Philly with 18. As we start the fourth period, Nick Stockton and Bill Russell. And for Los Angeles, it's a period that they have to outscore Philadelphia. Worthy is 5 of 6 from the field. He has 10 points in the opening period for the Lakers. saw them against Boston. The alley-oop play to McAdoo is good. McAdoo with 19 points. Experience and size, so he could probably play Jabbar better than Thompson did. 24-20 Los Angeles. Down the lane, McAdoo. Kareem with a no-look dish off. Play of a Pat Riley's very tall with him. He's a very good defender now. On the turnover, and L.A. can pull back to his one. McAdoo. Here he goes, huh? All right, it's in there. He holds. He double me. The McAdoo, 70 footer by McAdoo, the crowd is on There's uh, Jamal, see how he tries to soften up that inside defense by moving outside the three point line. McAdoo, excellent offensive player. Three time scoring leader in the NBA. Bob McAdoo, three consecutive scoring titles. Yeah, yeah. That's like that. McAdoo drew the foul, missed the hook. Boy, a big player. Scott, the rookie. Two. 
handle on a basketball. Cooper. Inside they go. That's McAdoo. Bob McAdoo. They picked him up off the trash pile a year ago and no one wanted to take a chance at him because they thought he was a fellow with a bad attitude. He's a very quiet. And Kareem are still on the bench. Well rested. Five seconds on the shot clock. Three seconds. McAdoo just gets it off in time and hits the shot. He laid out all of last year. Lakers trailing. McAdoo has got it. McAdoo almost traveled. 17 footer off the dribble. Good shot. I thought he traveled and so did Fitch.
to do, guarded by Maxwell. And he gets the front rim in the back row. 21 points for Adam. Six points above his season average. McAdoo on the drive. Gets the right hands and gets the two points. In the second quarter, James Worthy with the basketball number 42 is a bench. McAdoo in there off the bench as well. McAdoo with 11. He puts it up again and adds to it. McAdoo now 13 points. And is also guarding Magic Johnson. Two-man game with McAdoo and Magic. McAdoo plays the 11-point swing. So he's coming on strong in this period. McAdoo. is think back to game two in Boston last year. Here's Magic with the ball. Kareem is back in. It comes over to McAdoo. His 18-footer is good. Over Bird. I'll tell you, Bird. That's Caldwell Jones. We'll have to take him out of three weeks that. But with this group, he can play with it. McAdoo in the lane. He's hot. Bob McAdoo, who in 26 minutes has averaged nearly 15 a game. It's been close, but since the second period has started, the Spurs have had the impetus, and they've had the lead most of the way. Although McAdoo finding the range is hit. McAdoo, nine on the clock, off of Cup Jack, recovers. McAdoo, with nine seconds, gets the basket. Certainly need him out here in game four on Sunday afternoon. They're going inside the Magic, he gets it back to McAdoo. Now Magic was totally surprised by that. One of the very few shots we've seen uh, by a A pretty important part of this ball club. I think uh, Casey Jones has got the sit down. Magic performing some magic. Tamakadu inside. Shield his path to the basket, but he has just 10 points. They needed much more than that from him. Makadu and the foul. Play a few times, they don't quit, and that's one of the reasons they're this close to playoffs. McAdoo gets inside and a good reverse layup. Bob McAdoo has been slumping as a shooter, only 38 percent. Lakers, it's five on three. Garrett could give it up to a man in the middle. He's on the right wing. Now he takes the McAdoo bubble, pick it up to the ten footer for which McAdoo. on Magic Johnson. McAdoo guarded by Paris, and McAdoo can hit that outside shot. He has been a top rookie at MD. And uh, as I mentioned before, many people thought he had more talent than Adrian. Had a broken kneecap in high school and really came back from that.
question about it. He was one of several, I should say, but his contribution was monumental. Two for two. Eight. It's going to be fun. 36-31. Lakers with a lead. Welch back in the ball game with McAdoo in the middle. There he is. Quick move. Strong move. McAdoo. The bucket. As you say a while ago, Gary, stop the bleeding, and that's what Kareem did three straight times down the floor. Lucas has come in now for Phoenix. McAdoo here with Matt and the first down. A big team for the Lakers right now with Johnson, McAdoo, and Kareem. McAdoo as he got right past his man. Out ahead from Jamal. To Kareem, to McAdoo. McAdoo from 17. McAdoo who wins him. Wilkes, Landsberger, and McAdoo. Philadelphia has turned the rebounding story around. McAdoo hits a big basket. Now see what I say is that Lakers have... Tony makes the move in. Double team. The Los Angeles Lakers lead is 11 points. It was 100 to 80. The ball to McAdoo at the base. 16-footer by dependable Robert is good. He got a break. He caught the far rim and it went back in for him. Turn him around. Knocked loose Magic Johnson. Oh, my. He had Worthy. He was looking Worthy all the while, and he gave it up on a no-look to McAdoo. Oh, there may have been a double dribble there. I think they may have missed the call. And Greedy coughs it up in another jam. Milwaukee is just out of sorts right now. They're not communicating. They haven't been. So they got a good chance if they start out the third quarter good. It's only an 11-point game right now, although L.A. is currently...